A big rival for Twitter, the first Fab Lab in Cameroon, and a nap to help you turn into an emoji, it's time once again for Social Club by Orange. Oh, it's ready! Come on, I'm serving up! It looks like bad news for Twitter after the arrival of Mastodon. The idea is simple. Mastodon is a social network developed by a German web developer and it allows us to write up to 500 characters and it doesn't actually belong to anyone. That's right guys, it's completely decentralized and open source. Thanks to the buzz created in France by the website Numerama, 150,000 people have already said yes to Mastodon. So the stage is set for a fight between an elephant and a bird. I think we already know who would win. The first Solidarity Fab Lab in Cameroon, it's the most fabulous news of the week. The digital center was launched by the Orange Foundation and the Agence Universitaire de la Francophonie in Yaoundé last week. It's free and open to all and the aim is as simple as a quick copy and paste. To allow young people who are from underprivileged background who have dropped out of school or are involved in startups to invent objects using 3D printers or other digital embroidering machinery. More than 100,000 euros have been invested by Orange through the Orange Foundation in order to buy equipment and to cover the training and care for the staff. So go on, maker friends, now the ball is in your cart. Come on down to the Angola Fab Lab and relax. This is the only thing you need. Do you want to turn your face into an emoji? Well then, I think we finally found a solution. Thanks to the Memoji app developed by Lightrix, a startup from Israel, it's now possible. Whether taking a selfie or taking a photo of other people, it works as soon as it detects a face on screen. Once you've shot your photo, all you have to do is share the GIF. Given that Facebook is currently experimenting with a GIF button on your Facebook comments, we're sure this will really spice up your timelines. See you all next week for another episode of Social Club. Fingers crossed we'll be able to tell you more about the launch of YouTube TV, which is already being tested in the US. Stay tuned for more. And in the meantime, leave a comment on the show. I don't know why, but I always feel so much better after reading your messages.